But pretty simple one. Let's start off with our goalkeeper, Brendan. Who have you gone for? Yeah, simple one, furthest from the truth. But um, <laughs> look, we two new goalies not on Ireland final day today. And again, there was a huge high standard. But that man, Nicky Quaid, was the one uh, who got ahead slightly of, of Pat Collins, Patrick Collins. Uh, Quaid's been really good through the, the round robin, even in the All Ireland semi final. Puck outs, everything he does is composure and exact in his high standards. And I suppose the fact he's high standards and he matches them every year is a credit to himself in, in it. But he's our, our goalkeeper for 2024. So, so Limerick getting off the mark then with a goalkeeper then. Jackie, you're going to take us through the full back line. Who have you chosen? Yeah, three young guys. Uh, first up, Adam Hogan, outstanding year. Everything you'd want in a cornerback. Pace, power, a lovely nastiness to him. He just gets up and <laughs> in, in corner forward. That's a lot coming from you. Owen Downey at full back. We, we spoke about the problem that Cork had at full back. No more anymore with this young guy. He was just peerless today and just manned that centre or center, or full back position so well. And last but not least, Conor Lean. I mean, this guy, this guy could, this could be one of the, 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 the all time great cornerbacks for, for Clare. He was brilliant again today and has had an outstanding year. Does things so easily. I mean, how he, how he handled Patrick Horgan today was outstanding. Yeah, brilliant uh, full back line there. I'm sorry, the Jackie, them. 21, 21, and 23, the three ages of. Well, that's the thing, and particularly, Anthony, when you look at the two Clare lads at the back there, if you'd have said that at the start of the year that they'd been a Sunday game team of the year, I don't know if it, maybe even they might have thought that this was the way their season was going. You might think Adam, you know, he was contender for young player of the year last year. Uh, but Connor, and we all know he was a great talent at underage and, and at club level but you know really Brian and the lads have just given him that extra bit of confidence and uh, what, what performance he gave on big days he was very close for man the match like he had an unbelievable game today in fairness to him and, and his it, first All-Ireland like, and if so. you think in, in the dying moments against Kilkenny he's coming out with the ball Bounces off the, you know, the bonus to do that. Like if that calls over his hand, and can he get a score? Like this is becoming a yeah. 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 the ground. I've done it anyway. That's for, a lot from you, that's for sure. <laughs> right, take us, Anthony, then through the half back line. Who have you gone for? Just to stress, there was about ten votes in all of this. Yeah. Though, Jackie. <laughs> so, Davy Mack, what a leader for us for well over a decade and semi final performance. And again today, you know, little ladies, man, Robert Downey. Trouble position, especially when Joyce got injured, he stepped in magnificent today. What a goal, you know, up the field. And like I've seldom ever seen a team to target a wing back to take him out of the game. And this man, Kyle Hayes, he's so important that Cork nearly sacrificed Declan Dalton on the day to try and keep him out of the play. And that'll tell you how powerful a player he is and was outstanding. And I suppose that was half of Cork's success in getting over Limerick was keeping him quiet in the semi. Well, there was a powerful debate about that line, chain because that one was probably one of the difficult ones to pick, the half-back line, wasn't it? Well, it was. And, like Some people might say Sir Kyle didn't touch the ball in the semi-final, but he had a really, really good Munster campaign. Like, you know, contender probably for hurler of the year at that stage. And just, like, I, I think Dale has summed it up well. The fact that Cork went to the lengths that they went to to keep him out of the game, he'd only a handful of possessions. And, uh, but yeah, there was, you know, he, he, he got in there because of his Munster championship performances that were really, really good. There's a knock-on impact then of of that half back line onto the midfield as well and further up the field because there was a lot of people being accommodated in different places. But Ursula, take us through the midfield. Yeah, we've gone for uh, Tony Kelly, you know, man of the match, captain's uh, part today, 1 4, incredible. You know, when they needed him most, he stood up and, you know, just think he wasn't there at the start of the year and he missed the, the championship game against uh, Cork earlier on. Dara Fitzgibbon, you know, blister and pace, had a fantastic year overall. Uh, you know, came into the final as top point scorer from play as well and, and chipped in with two points uh, again today. And his move to centre forward was crucial for Cork as well. He 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 potentially had a or he had a really good influence on the game even when he moved in. Tony Kelly's performance in the All Ireland final today, Jackie, is probably what puts him into that team, is it? There's no doubt about it. And you know, there's there's times where Tony has gone out of games. There's no doubt about it. the last two semi finals again against Kilkenny. But on the biggest days, the bigger the big stars shine and none shine, shine brighter today. Particularly when Shane O'Donnell was good in the first half, but in the second half when Cork kind of got on top of him and Clare were looking for someone, they needed someone. Tony Kelly came up, as Joe said, probably the greatest one for you'll ever score and probably wouldn't all earn for Clare this year. Yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it. And I think he's probably not the only one because when you look around some of the other performances, Shane, in the full in the half-forward line as well, this one was a tricky one to call as well. Oh, it was. I think the most of them were tricky. But this man, since the minute the league started, it was said at the end of the league, if there was a hurler of the year to be given then, it would have yeah. been David Fitz. And his form continued into the into the round robin stages and once and again in the last two games. Shane Barrett, again, has been exceptional all year. Early on, got a couple of scores. John Conlon then got 
Alan Taffin, but in terms of the centre forward, he had a really, really good semi final. And this man, Seamus Harnady, has been exceptional this year. When Waterford B Cork the start of the year, there was many people calling for his head and Hoggy's head and a few more, the elder statesmen. But again, that night down at Park Equive against Limerick, the semi final, and again today, exceptional performances. Yeah, brilliant. And uh, just t- t- two mentions mm. uh, John Donnelly had an, it was really, really good for Kenny throughout the Leinster Championship, and Garod Hegarty again, we said it about Kyle, if there was hurler of the year given after the Munster Championship campaign, they'd have been there, but I suppose the semi-finals carry a bit of weight, don't they? Ah, look, they have to, and to be fair, Joe, even with the full forward line, a lot of it does come down to that. Who's going to perform on the big day, and why are they in the team? So yeah. take us through who you picked. Yeah, they always come down to the semi-finals and finals, but Mark Rogers for us, consistently throughout the year, one three today in the All-Ireland Final, what more could you ask for? Consistently really good throughout the year, and ha- like even Fitzgibbon, and then this guy, Shane O'Donnell, like a phenomenal year. Like every day he came out, missed the league, obviously. I think more people will be probably trying to do that to perform. <laughs> and then Brian Hayes, I think he was defined for Cork this year. Changed their, changed their year because he was the target man. He was the guy they went to with the puck outs. He was the guy that got, he got two points again today, but really good. If you were to say Brian Hayes this time last year, could be in contention for an all-star you, you know you wouldn't be believe it but uh, really good and like there's loads of guys like Aaron Galan was really good this year um, Conley was good um, so yeah we all kind of had different teams there was loads of different teams Dalo wanted to pick Liam Doyle, Shawnee Mack and himself in the half back line. But <laughs> was, was, yeah. well, the problem was, Dalo, look, you were on the live coverage, so you missed half the debate. Then you came in, you wanted to set the cat amongst the pigeons. Yeah. Well, I tell you now, if you're on the live coverage, you've no say in this team. <laughs> 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 Come here, you've, you have seven, up, you have seven Clare lads on it. If you were your way, you'd have 15. Well, Father Harry, the great Father Harry, we saw him last night in Fecal. He might be late. He was selector with me for two years, and myself and Alan Cunningham and himself, Alan's brilliant with Limerick now. And, he just come in and say, well, have you been picked? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, if, give me a look at it anyway, like, you know, so... Like, yeah. this, like, this year's championship was so close. All the games, like, were really, really close, like, and it was really difficult. Like, you look at Cahill O'Neill there, you could say, Blanchfield in, in Kilkenny there was, was, you know, you could say in hard luck as well, like, but it just shows the standard and how, to how I said, close these games have been, like, that um, you see, like, the Tony Kelly, the way they can just turn the game in your favour. Like. Well, I said, uh, Keen Kenny... Yeah. Well, I was going to say, I Kilkenny. can't believe there's no Kilkenny person on yeah. it, and you allowed that to happen. I should have like guarded me in the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and the Wexford person back in Kilkenny, I, I was I was fighting for possibly Blanchfield wing back. I think he was really good all year. I think he would have come pretty close to that team today. So, do you think though, like Kilkenny were in an All Ireland semi final, and Limerick have two fellas on a team? Mm. I, I do think like there were performances in Kilkenny, Jackie, that they were very close to being in an All Ireland final. Ah, oh, they were, and it could be a different picture tonight. But that's the nature of the game, and and, and I see the game now between 5 and 12 it's very hard to understand who's marking who like you'd mark home and say tacking three points and you'd, and you'd, you'd if it's Earl doing the same and they were marking each other you know the only people that are really kind of accountable to each other and you can kind of match up is the full back and kind of try. after that it's kind of amazing real people men kind of, back there what's that real men back real there men. nasty, nasty said that, but, uh, <laughs> I, I thought Kieran Joyce was unlucky I thought in big moments this year for Cork I thought he was huge missed the part of the round robin you think of that block that he did on, on Aaron Galan after Patrick Collins save another one today came up with a big point and I felt the half back line was probably the most competitive like it's so many lads you could juggle and put, put in there David Blanchard being one of them. Dear Ryan as yeah. well. John Connell. John Connell, you know. John Conlon, yeah. Yeah. And just speaking of John Conlon, we saw today the amount of players went down with cramps and everything. He's 35 years of age and mm-hmm. he's 36 next January. He played 90 minutes and none of us saw him cramping, going down. He lasted the whole game. He's made a steal, that man. He's incredible today. Two like. you know, could be getting your training started there for <laughs> 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 a bit. Give me two weeks to go back. <laughs> <laughs> you still come back for it. <laughs> oh, listen, I'd give you a good go. The other thing is, Brendan, when you look at Cork, you know, six players up there behind us. If you'd have told them that after the first two games that they'd end up in an All Ireland final, six fellas on a Sunday game team of the year, potentially being people having in conversation or the hurler of the year, it's amazing how quickly things turn. Look, it's on a, it's on, 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 small, on small moments like below in that game the chain show there in the, in the park when Cork played Limerick Kingston went in a run he went by Hayes Hayes' instinct should have been to grab and pull him down if he does that the way the game was going Cork could be out um, 
Pat Ryan is looking for a new job, essentially, is the way the, the world works at an inter-county management. And uh, the whole thing changes, you know, and that's the fine margins that are involved. Instead, though, when they got their opportunity, they were sitting at home for some of the games going, oh, I hope we qualify. But every time they got the chance, and especially the two times uh, against Limerick, they, they took it. So they can be really proud of their effort last year, or this year. But we all know, back to being GA and sports people, like the target's on their back now for next year. So let's see what they'll do. But that'll be for another couple of months' time when they, when they sit down to plan for that. Yeah. Before that, we have to uh, crown a Sunday game hurler of the year. Joe, they've handed you the responsibility. Yeah. Um, there was there was a couple of guys, I suppose, like Fitzgibbon for Cork had a really good year. But when it came down to it at the end of the day, Shane O'Donnell throughout the year was just phenomenal for Clare. And maybe today wasn't his best day. He was, I think he was carrying a bit of an injury in the second half with his shoulder. And he came off near the end then with maybe a bit of cramp. But like the stuff he was doing throughout the Munster Championship and the quarter-final, semi-final, and even today when the need was most in the first half, um, he was just brilliant. And it's great to hear that he's around. He's not he's being not an yet. astronaut he's or whatever not going next year. Space yeah. either, so, yeah. uh, Dale was on about back-to-back already. So, oh, you uh, were rubbing your hands <laughs> when you yeah, saw yeah, the yeah, last... Do you know, though, it's funny because he, he's, ni- he's only... <laughs> My sister, nine- I hope, is watching this. <laughs> <Yeah. time. laughs> yeah. Do yeah, yeah, you Dale know, though, Dale, Dale on, he's yeah. only 19 years of age in that final in 2013, and you have no idea of what he's going to end up becoming. To think that 11 years later, look what the man is doing. Joe said it's not every day, but my God, what he does for Claire is spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the, condu- the concussion injury, Jackie, was really, really serious. I mean, he, he, there was a doubt whether he'd work again. Like, uh, he couldn't do anything. And uh, he, t- t- leadership in the last three years had been just incredible. He's everything you'd... Um, if, if some of us have been coaching, I'm not so much anymore, but when I was, you'd be nearly showing him videos of the way he goes about it. I mean, the hand for everything the turn, the, the, upper, the strength today for the goal. Do you know, and uh, for a fella that doesn't play National League, I think there'll be a lot of people... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> if Shane O'Donnell gets hurled of the year, right, the last three hurlers of the year, Dimmer Burns, Aaron Glanch and O'Donnell won't have played any league. So there could be something in that. And we see coaches and teams going back in November and December, dog and lads, maybe the lads that are the freshest to come out the best. Well, that's that's nobody hurling yeah. in the we'll winter. Do, we'll <laughs> do, we'll next year, so yeah. I think that has to be recognised to Brian Lowen and, and the group of players that they have and the trust and honesty that you have a fella there that they know is not going to be playing through the league. Or like what, what John Kiley has done with the other players. You know, sometimes you can create red lines and all this kind of thing. You just have to do what's good for the group. And in fairness, if a good manager can recognise that and the players do as well, then suddenly, you know, you have a great chance. Yeah, like. And Conor Lean will say got loads of league time. Mm. King Galvin came on and made three yeah. or four big plays and had to wait, like, and he was well down to pecking order. But then when he got his chance, you know, and uh, Shane Meehan, you know, lads like that, the league... Oh, what about Daryl Lone coming in? Correct. Back? We've never seen it, like, yeah, you know, yeah, we've seen yeah. it coming in. That's, so, obviously, and Brian has made some big decisions. Got them all right today. Yep, he certainly did. And that is why Claire are All-Ireland champions. Lads-